We have the DinoJet control module, Velcro and Posi tap, USB cable, CD for the software for your PC, and the instructions which are very helpful. So we're gonna go ahead and install the DinoJet fuel module onto the battery. So stick the module to the battery with using the Velcro. Remove the two airbox bolts on the left side and we'll start routing the wires. Okay, so we're gonna route the wiring harness behind the airbox, follow it up along the stock wiring harness. Be careful where you, uh, where you root it because you don't want any of the wires to get cut or pinched. So the gray plug here is our fuel injector. We're gonna go ahead and unplug the stock connector. Plug it into the black connector from the DinoJet box. And plug in the gray connector to the fuel injector from the DinoJet box. Now, the two wires here are for the O2 sensor. So we're gonna route them underneath and connect into the stock O2 sensor. Unclip the O2 sensor plug from the frame. Disconnect the O2 sensor and plug it in line with the dyno jet. Make sure you hear the click so you know it's plugged in tight. And go ahead and restall, reinstall the plug onto the frame. Just be tidy about your wire routing. Now we're going to go ahead and locate the TP sensor throttle position, which is on the throttle body. It's a five wire plug, and we're just going to push this inside a little bit, it makes it easier to see it. We're going to go ahead and unplug it. and it unplugs from underneath. It's a five wire plug, and we're gonna tap into the solid yellow wire to the dyno jet box. So go ahead and grab the posi tap the dyno jet is supplied. Unscrew the gray piece, thread it in behind the yellow one. Go ahead and screw the red connector back on and just snug it up. If you go too tight, you'll end up cutting the wire, but if you go loose, you'll have a loose connection. So just kind of go by feel and, and then unscrew the back. Root the gray wire from the DinoJet box in behind the frame. Bring it back out so you can connect into the posi tap. Slide the red connector over the gray wire and then screw that back in. Now your gray wire is connected to your yellow. Go ahead and plug the TP sensor back in. When you hear the click, you know you got it. Just double check all your routing, make sure you're not anything near anything hot, you're not obstructing the throttle position. Um, make sure the throttle cables aren't gonna cut the wire. Everything looks good, so we'll uh, go ahead and install the ground. Remove the stock ground bolt. Put the DinoJet ground in behind and reattach the stock grounds. Go ahead and torque that to seven foot-pounds. Okay, now that we've got the ground torqued on uh, our dyno jet controller, we have to plug the pair valve air line, which introduces fresh air into the exhaust system, which will no longer be used with the dyno jet controller. So go ahead and remove the air line. Now you can do this any number of ways, 
basically DinoJet is just saying plug it. I think the easiest way is to get a 10 mil bolt and cut a piece out of it, insert it into the airline, push it down ways a little bit. That's blocked off your hose and just simply reinstall it on the valve and put your clamp back on. That way we've blocked the air movement in the hose. Now we'll go to drain the coolant and start drilling for safety wire. 